And that's something interesting for you for catch and cook slash no waste Wednesday. Went out on the Voyager and um, went for tuna. I didn't catch any tuna, uh, but some guys did and they were generous enough to give me the heads. So took these. Let's see what we can do with them. There is not a lot of meat. It's mostly bone, but I feel like there's a pretty good um, piece of cheek meat in there. The, the eyeballs are supposed to be a delicacy. Uh, we're going to check that out. I'm not a fan of fish eyes. Uh, friend Anthony loves them, swears by them. I've never had uh, one that I enjoyed, but uh, I've never had a tuna, so we'll see. I mean, I like the eyes from lamb when I'm eating a cup so. But, uh, you know, there's a little bit of meat in here. Uh, but there was also a, another specialty caught. A, uh, someone caught a uh, swordfish. But they took the sword. See, there's nothing there. And uh, we're going to cook that up also and see what happens. This seems to have a little bit more meat to it. Um, and uh, we're going to check it out. Should be good. Stay tuned. You're going to like what happens. The first thing we're going to do is kind of slit down this bone right here. You want to go on both sides of it, or you can cut along it on one side and tear off on the other. Skin is kind of like leather, so if you have a good sharp knife, <clears throat> take a piece of paper towel to get a grip, and just kind of peel this back. knife and kind of help yourself along too. Take your knife and just kind of work it along that cheek meat. You're going to want to cut around the eye socket. socket and with the uh, paper towel you want to kind of grab and pull while releasing any kind of connective tissue that's holding it back Not as easy as it looks because it just these things slide all over the place and there's really no place to get a hold on to it. Okay. Get this 
is exposed now. So now you have your cheek meat here. Of course, the eye. And then this is that, um, kind of like, I guess, like a tenderloin almost, or, you know, this is, this, this piece of meat runs right along the top, and it's actually very soft. So, <clears throat> take the cheek meat out. You run the knife along the bone. Get a little bit of that skin away still. And you kind of fold it back. And you've got to change your position so that you're always cutting meat off the bone and not cutting the meat itself. And this is right where it connects to the jaw. And that is your piece of cheek meat. There's a little piece of bone in there. We're gonna tear that out. That's it. Now, <clears throat> to get this piece of meat out here, you're going to run your knife along this bone and then come from this side and run it along the bone. There's like a little ridge here, it's like a little pocket that this meat is in. And that's that piece right there. And you just do the same to the other side. All right, I know what everybody's asking, how do you take the eyeball out? So this is kind of gross, you may want to turn off your channel at this point, but you kind of stick your hand in there and you pull you get in behind there and cut the optical nerve with it. and the uh, orbital muscles off. You just want to be careful, you don't want to cut into the eye. And that's how you take the eye out. And this is how you get to the cheeks and find a soft spot in between the bone. And you just kind of run your knife tight against the skin. And same thing over here. Just up. And the same thing here. Just kind of run it. And there's a the cheek. All the cheek meat there. A little meat there. Knife. Right. <clears throat> I'm just surprised that there's not as big a cheek um, in this because it's um, you know they got a pretty big jaw, much bigger than tuna. Uh, but I guess it's basically they're just swallowing and not chewing at all. Um, the tuna does have a little bit of rows of very fine teeth. This, this this has none. None. It just grabs and swallows. So, it's the cheek meat. Smells good. Got there. And that's really it. There's, 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 there is not much going on in here. There's, uh, there's just a little bit of meat that's here that was cut, but it's, you know, it's fouled now because it was, you know, the raw end of it. Um, again, Eyeball. I know you guys love when I do this. Right there. Right there. That's it. Okay, so uh, I'm getting the uh, eyeballs ready, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to boil them. That seems like the way everybody tends to eat them. Is uh, other people are doing um, like a fried thing and. I don't really know if I want to go that route. So uh, what I did here is I actually put together some um, miso soup. And that is going to be my base. I'm going to boil everything in there. And hopefully it tastes good. Now, everybody's saying it kind of tastes like squid or octopus, which are actually two things I really enjoy. So um, 
Yeah, this is a hard one for me. I really, uh, really am uh, something that's got me finally. We're gonna boil this, and typically there's a hard shell in here. Um, this the inner area becomes gelatinous and and eat all the stuff. So we're gonna put these inside the water. Turn it up a little bit. Quite a few of these. Um, cover it and just let it simmer. That's uh, looks like the probably the lens inside there. It's turning white from the heat, and it's probably the calcium. All right, so here we go. This is the what we end up with, and you can see I lined up some rice vinegar, soy, and chili oil, just in case I need it. Um, so this is, I mean, this, that's not edible. And um, I just want you guys to understand what I go through for this. So, yeah, I mean, it, the outside is kind of like uh, the connective tissue and stuff. And we'll take a look at that first. Well, here we go. This is going to be the taste right here. This is the first thing we're going to try. That's the, um, the I guess it would be the orbital mass, the orbital muscle. And uh, let's see how that is. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. A little fishy, but it's actually not bad. The soup is good. But now, um, what goes on here, this is supposed to be very good for you. It's uh, very high in omega-3, uh, which actually started making it very popular in Japan at that time. And back in the 90s, it started becoming very popular. Um, so the outside's not bad. I mean, it's a little fatty, um, which gives it a little richness um, that, you know, I don't like fatty flavor from fish. Um, but the soup is... Uh, Soup is pretty good. Now, uh, what we have to do is we have to kind of dig in there. Um, this is really the gross part. Um, there's this gelatinous stuff that is supposed to be good. I, I, I don't know. Like, oh, God. Where'd it go? Okay. There it is. Mm. It's kind of like trying to get a yolk out. You know, the white, the yolk separated. You know what? I'm going to get a bigger spoon. That's what I'm going to do. I'm sorry. I meant a smaller spoon. So this this here, that's a mushroom, guys. You got to kind of get a hold of that. I mean, this is the stuff. This is what they're really going after. This is the... Wow, it's so hard to grab this thing. Okay. <laughs> Something holding on to it. Now it's getting like really mad ucky. All right. I'm going to need two hands for this. Okay. That's it right there. It's kind of um, like clear jelly. Um, all right. There we go. That is really good. Um, yeah, you know, they said it kind of tastes like oil. It's kind of really, I mean, it's a little bit bland. I guess the, the miso kind of gives it a little flavor. Um, the texture is, you know, kind of like soft jello. Um, but it, it's it's not bad at all. The, the taste is pretty good. So that's it. Um, I might, you know, put a drop of... Uh, a little rice vinegar in it. I think that that's a little taste profile that I could use, uh, like just a drop of it, right into the uh, orbital. And um, let's try and get another dab out of this. Yeah, there it is. That's. I mean, it looks really gross. I mean, I can't see if it's focusing on that. Oh, now it went into the soup. Oh, 
It's good. It does have a really good flavor. I'm glad I got a few of them. I might eat them all. All right, well, that's it. Guys, um, there you have it. Tuna fish eyes and miso broth with shiitake mushrooms. And there's tree air fungus in here somewhere, if I could find it. So, um, yeah, don't turn your nose up to it. It's actually pretty good. Um, you know, you have to like fish, of course. It's not super fishy, um, but it's there. You can taste it. Um, it's supposed to be healthy for you. Um, it became very popular in the 90s because omega-3s were shown to be better for your brain and better for your heart. And, you know, people started eating it because of that. And, uh, you know, they threw them away just like every, everybody else does. Uh, but not anymore. It's a delicacy. There's a whole restaurants that are dedicated to uh, to making this dish. Uh, or maybe not this dish, but, you know, making uh, the tuna fish eyeballs. So there you have it. I did it for you. Pretty interesting. Um, and remember, don't waste anything. Food is precious. All right. I, I'm here with with uh, my good friends Pasquale and Gio. One good looking, one not so much. Yeah, yeah. But Gio doesn't get, he's very modest about it. <laughs> <laughs> so these guys, these are my Malese guys, right? This is yes. the Malese crew right here. So who knows more about fish than them, right? You guys know about fish. Technically. Technically, okay. So this is what we're gonna do. I made a special, a special for sure, dish for them. For sure, we know about pipes. And uh, you guys already know what it is. These guys don't know what it is. So uh, let's go here, guys. Open up, uh, open up your soup and uh, see what you got here. Mom, on. <laughs> so that's fresh tuna eyeball. Oh my God, oh, man. Yeah. So I hope you guys like it. Let's see. I, we're gonna go right. check in with the Malays and see see what they think of uh, they see it. my my no waste Wednesday. Thank God, it's only the eyeball. Yeah. Uh, so the smell is good though. Uh, smell like uh, miso soup. It is miso soup. Oh yeah. yeah you, know, <laughs> you know. You know. See. Uh, yeah, this guy, these guys know. It smell so, like miso so soup. Let's see what it is. So. Um, don't eat that hard shell thing, see, like that. No, 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 it's fine. Yeah. Oh, it's not the top. It's not the cream puff. My yeah. It's not the like. cream puff. <laughs> it's not a cream puff, no. Okay, so this... try it out, tell me when you like it. Should put pepper on it? Oh, you can put whatever you want. I, it, this, I would try it first by itself. How's the soup? The broth is good? It's very good. It's like miso soup. soup, yeah. Yeah. So now, Italian style, yes. miso soup, Italian style, Mario style. Yeah, I, you can put hot pepper in. What, what are you pepper. thinking? I know you don't really like. Uh, no, I think it's good. It's very good. Are you waiting for me? Yeah, I'm waiting for you. Let's see what the reaction is. Pepper for Yeah? Very tasty. Well, try, try the. Uh, I feel like a, it's a naturally salted, no? It's what? It's naturally salted by itself. Yeah, there's right. no salt in okay. here. It's the miso and stuff. What is it's got a nice uh, open texture, right? Yeah, it's got a nice texture. Beautiful, nice and fat right. too. All right, so it's safe. Fat. even even the Malaysia <coughs> agree that the, the tuna fish eyeball is not bad. No, absolutely top notch. Top notch, really right. good. All right, happy Wednesday. No, you can you try it. Say <laughs> however you want to say. You want? No, you were just talking. Go ahead, talk. Almost done the, the, the tuna soup. Tuna, tuna, soup. Eyeball soup. tuna eyeball soup. Tuna eyeball soup. Yeah. It's like really nutriente. Yeah. Really nutriente. Yeah. Really nutriente. I like it, Mario. Very, very. Very nutriente. Uh, healthy. Healthy. People get fun on la dieta. We were here in this we were like a get your uh, feedback on that uh, on that uh, my um, especially yeah, people work out it's really good um may i ask you like for instance uh, <laughs> the difference between the soup and the cappuccino <laughs> that, that you usually if you think cappuccino with caffeine this is very it's very fishy 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 I don't think cappuccino is fishy. <laughs> <laughs> we just move No, I just want to do the same thing. I'm going to do it on the book. It's a good one. It's a good one. Oh, 
Good, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Hmm? Uh -huh. Settling for your stomach. Full, full. Oh, f filling. Filling, filling. Filling, hearty. It's like a hearty soup. Yes. Hearty soup is the, the word. Mm. Sorry for my English. No, it's okay. Molto nutrient. Ti riempie. Salute.